Greetings. Today I'm going to talk about a cultural anime. If you like Hypnosis and Fortnite Battle Royale, then you should watch this anime. If you don't know where to watch it, Google and Incognito are your best friend. One day, the main character, Oda, is playing a cultural game on his phone during class. When he is playing the game, suddenly something appears on his phone screen. He thought that his phone got a virus. In the meantime, someone is looking at his information. Anyways, he found out that it is an app, and its name is Hypnos. Instead of quitting the app and uninstall it, he keeps looking at the app, and found out that the app stated that it can actually hypnotize someone. As expected, he assumed that this app is just a scam, and he does not believe it. Meanwhile, the teacher is right behind him, and she lectured him for not paying attention in class. During lunch break, his friends and him gathered together to discuss about some cultural stuff. Suddenly, this cow, Fujimiya, roasts them for being annoying and disgusting. When she is roasting them, someone appeared behind her, and she joined the conversation. It is the head of public moral committee, Akizuki, and she is lecturing Fujimiya for dressing like she belongs to the street. That pissed Fujimi off, and both of them are arguing with each other. <laughs> Meanwhile, he knew that he is just a nobody, and he has absolutely no power here. Well, that is about to change soon. He suddenly remembered the app just now. Although he knew that it is too good to be true, he is still curious about the app. And what if that app is stating the truth? Therefore, he points his phone toward Fujimiya and input his command into the app. He wants Fujimiya to show her lower protective gear. After that, she actually did it, and Akizuki was caught off guard after seeing that. She is not the only one who was caught off guard. Oda is the same too. He did not expect that the app is actually legit, and it is not an app that is stealing his information all the time. Wait a minute, Google also did that too, so I guess it is fine. When he returned home, he saw a red-haired girl in his room. That surprised him, but there is not much he can do since he is a male in 2023. He might become the intruder instead. Anyways, she introduced herself as the support staff of Hypnos, and she is going to support the crap out of him. She also informed him that she is a demon girl, and her name is Rina. She gave him her business card, and he suddenly realized that she is the one who forced install the app on his phone. After a while, he finally regained his common sense and logic. So, he decided to report her for trespassing. She stopped him, and told him that he can do whatever he wants using this app. She informed him that he is the lucky one who was chosen to become the beta tester for this app. After listening to her persuasion, he has no choice but to accept this situation. I guess he also want to use the app for some protein time. On the next day, at school, he wants to use the app on Fujimiya. However, he is having a second thought about it. Rina suddenly appeared beside him, and she wants him to stop being a puss and use the goddamn app. After that, she starts teaching him on how to use the app. アプリの力を使うには、無魔石が必要となり、使用ごとに消費されます。その都度課金が必要になりますので、注意してください。なんだこの生々しい情報は。正式にテスターとなったので、新たな機能がアンロックされました。フジミヤ saw both of them, and she roasted him for being annoying and disgusting because he keeps staring at her. No one makes fun of the protein man and gets away with it. So, he is going to teach her a lesson for making fun of him. He used the app on her, and she immediately turned around and wants to bring him to somewhere. She brought him to the toilet, and she starts to clean his Excalibur the eco-friendly way. She is cleaning it like her life depends on it. Not gonna lie, it seems like she should change her name to Dyson, since her suction power is actually over 9,000. Obviously, I cannot show it here, but you guys should watch the original sauce. Moving on, he couldn't handle the power of her eco-cleaning, so he deposited a lot of fresh organic protein man's protein in her. After that, she also wants him to give her some protein man's holy shower. He actually did it, and she seems to be very satisfied with that. She told him that he can come anytime he want. When she left the restroom, she is free of the hypnosis and become very surprised. Uh. アプリの説明通り記憶がおぼろげになってるみたいだな。
On the next day, he is spying on her in 4K, and he found out that she does not have any memories from yesterday, so he is safe for now. Since there is almost no risk, he is going to go all out and use the app on her. I guess he wants her to allow him to explore her dungeon. After school, both of them went to the rooftop to do some protein time. He immediately 360 no scope her from behind, and he is not wearing any protective gear. In the meantime, Rina is sleeping on her guard duty. Since it is a cannon event, Akizuki is going to the rooftop, and she noticed Rina and the sign beside her. She is curious because she does not know that the rooftop is closed. I guess she is going to check it out. Anyways, let's get back to the protein time. They have been playing a lot of protein rounds, and he keeps depositing a lot of protein in her. I guess her dungeon is in peaceful mode all the time. Meanwhile, Akizuki has found out about their protein time, and she is very shocked. Ever since that day, she couldn't forget about the protein incident on the rooftop. <laughs> When she is thinking about that, she became too excited and got a nosebleed. Meanwhile, in class, Oda is hanging out with his friends as usual. However, he knew that he is not the same as them since he is the protein man now. He is not going to waste his time on some waifu JPEG gacha game when he can just get the real one instead. <laughs> Fujimiya came to roast him as usual and laughed at him for not able to explore a dungeon for his entire life. Well, she obviously does not know that he has already explored her dungeon. Suddenly, Akizuki entered the classroom and called for both of them. When she saw Fujimiya, she instantly remembered about their protein time and got a nosebleed. After that, Akizuki is stalking Oda all the time. However, her stealth stat is very low, so he knew about her presence. Rina reminded him not to use the app when someone is watching, or he will get into trouble. After a while, he knew that enough is enough, so he confronted her and wants to know why the hell is she stalking him all the time. She immediately told him about the protein time at the rooftop. <laughs> Oh shit, not good. After listening to that, he knew that he has screwed up and he is going to get cancelled. He is very angry at Rina who is supposedly to be on guard duty, but there is not much he can do now. After using all of his brain cells, he thought of a plan. He informed her that he will tell her everything. I guess he is going to use the app on her. Anyways, both of them went to the moral committee room. When she is asking him about his answer, he used the app on her, and he wants her to become his personal protein receiver. After that, she immediately removed her upper protective gear to show him her organic homegrown melons. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. This is his first time seeing such wonderful looking fruits, so he quickly inspect and taste them for research purposes. After the fruit appreciation session is over, she starts to clean his Excalibur the climate friendly way. Her cleaning is too good, and he paid her a lot of fresh international currency. After the housekeeping session, she wants him to explore her peaceful mode dungeon. Without wasting any time, he entered her dungeon and explored the crap out of it. During the dungeon exploration, he found out that she is regaining her sense and the hypnosis is getting weaker. He knew that he will be cancelled for real this time. Suddenly, the app stated that he needs to pay more money to increase the power of hypnosis since she has high self-esteem and she is hard to be hypnotized. He knew that this app might be developed by EA, but there is not much he can do since his life is on the line. So, he agrees to pay for it and continue the dungeon exploration. He keeps giving her a huge load of international currency over and over again. Due to plot purposes, no one actually entered the room during that time, and she received a huge amount of protein enough to last for a year. After the protein time is over, he left the room, and she regained her sense. She suddenly remembered about the protein time on the rooftop, but Rina quickly erased her memories using her power. As a result, their secret is safe for now.
After school, he got mad at Rena for neglecting her duties, but now he knew that the app is actually real and he can do whatever the hell he wants. Despite all of that, it seems like Rena is plotting something behind his back. <laughs> Since he has confirmed that the app is real, he keeps using the app every day to get some protein time. <laughs> During gym class, he has an idea and decided to use the app on both Fujimiya and Akizuki so he can play Fortnite Battle Royale with them. They are playing the game in the gym storeroom, and they keep playing it like their life depends on it. As a result, he kept using Protein Blast all the time, and they are going to become very healthy. Despite that, it is still not enough for them, because one can never get enough protein. Luckily, he can use the app to hypnotize himself, so his Excalibur can recover its strength. Despite that, it is still not enough to handle both of them. Therefore, this is his first time surrendering to them, and they kept farming protein off him. In the meantime, someone is spying on them in 4K. It is Rena, and it seems like she is collecting data from their protein time. After that, she decided that she has collected enough data, and it is time for her to quit this surveillance job. <laughs> However, before that, she must make sure that he will pay the price. Remember guys, nothing is free in this world. I have to pay the editor with protein every time she finished her job. Moving on, on the next morning, when he is sleeping, someone is waking him up. When he opened his eyes, he saw Rena in front of him. He is very surprised and accidentally headbutted her. He has no idea why is she in his room. <laughs> She asked him about his opinion regarding the game and her support. After that, she told him that the beta testing period is over and he no longer has access to the game. In addition, she informed him that he has used a lot of in-game currency and he needs to settle his debt. After listening to that, he became very worried because he might not have enough money to pay her. However, she assured him that he does not have to pay her cash. She actually wants him to pay her in protein, since protein is the international currency which is also used by the demon. He did not see that coming but he will be coming later. She told him that the app was made to get a lot of international currency. She knew that it is not right to forcefully extort the international currency from human, so the demon created this app. With this app, both party can benefit from each other, and this is a win-win situation. Despite all of that, he still assumed that she is talking nonsense, and she is not a demon. However, he suddenly has a thought, what if she is telling the truth all the time? If that is the case, then he might run out of protein soon. Meanwhile, it seems like she is ready to get that fresh tasty organic protein shake from him. <laughs> He quickly told her that he is just a beta tester, so he is not required to pay her. She informed him that it is in the contract, and he has accepted the contract the moment he used the app. This is why you guys should read the term and condition before signing the contract. Anyways, he has accepted his fate, and he wants to know what can he do for her. She immediately transformed into her true form, and told him that she will take care of everything. After that, she did almost everything to extract the international currency from him. The protein time is so long that it lasted for 12 minutes in the anime. After the protein time is over, she asked him if he is going to cancel the contract, and return to his original life. This means that he is no longer the protein man anymore. Judging by his expression, I guess he does not want to cancel that. On the next day, at school, it seems like his friends also installed the app on their phone. 
the demon's economy is going to become stonk soon. Anyways, just as expected, he is still the Protein Man, and he is giving a lot of limited edition Protein Man's protein to both Fujimiya and Akizuki. Really? Well, that is the end of my recap for this cultural anime. This anime has four episodes, and it is animated by Queen Bee. By the way, as usual, I know some of you guys dislike the animation from Queen Bee. So, this is the sacred code for the original sauce. Good luck on your adventure. These are the comments and feedback for this anime from a cultural website. So, what do you guys think about the plot and animation of this anime? Let me know in the comments section below after you watched it alone, or with your families.